Hey guys and welcome back. Um, so in this video I'm gonna talk about uh, my Wacom tablet I bought. Um, so the one I have currently is uh, this one. It's called Intuos Pro uh, Medium. And um, as you can see from the picture here, um, it has... Um, actually mine has four buttons. Okay, so it's this one. This is apparently the small, and then the medium is this one, or this one. Uh, it's actually the gray one. I have, I guess this is some kind of special edition. Um, and the good thing about this is that um, no matter if you're left or right-handed, you can actually use this without um, uh, your hand getting in the way. Um, and it has this, uh, initially I was a little bit uh, puzzled what this area here was. But this is the actual active drawing area. That means that your hand can rest on this part here. So if in case for me, uh, since I'm left-handed, I just turn it upside down or um, flip it around. And then I can have my right hand free to operate the buttons and the, the wheel here. Um, before I had this one, I actually uh, um, tried out uh, this one briefly. This is the Intuos Art. It's a smaller one. It's quite a bit smaller, actually. Uh, and while I like the surface uh, really much, it was um, the pen was really, really small. And it doesn't really show in this picture, but it uh, with my hand, it's it just feels um, too small to, to work with. And I tried it actually for one week uh, before I had to return it. My hand was kind of cramping. I was hoping I would get used to it, uh, but nope. Uh, and the other thing is, uh, which is uh, was another reason for returning this, is that um, it has four buttons, uh, two up here and two up here. And the way I work, it's not really convenient to have. Uh, it's, it's most com convenient to have my hand resting, so I could rest my hand on these two. But since I use uh, at least three buttons uh, normally, Control Alt and uh, Shift. Uh, for a lot of things and usually also uh, maybe S for uh, uh, brush size and maybe some other keys. Um, I at least needed four keys uh, and I can't really operate this one uh, without moving my hand too much so I really had to return it. Uh, so if you only plan on using it for drawing uh, it's uh, still good uh, granted that uh, you're okay with a smaller pen. <clears throat> Um, I don't really think there's a oh yeah here's a picture of the pen it's uh, it also weighs quite a bit more which I think is very nice uh, but in terms of um, um, well general um, functionality it, they provide mostly the same uh, obviously the pro has um, it's actually wireless, so you can operate it wireless, uh, which is kind of nice if you want to sit back and, and draw. Um, I actually tried it a few times and it, it actually works pretty well. Um, there's no lag on it, as far as I could tell, which is very nice. Um, and then it has uh, twice as high sensitivity um, steps as uh, the Intuos Art, as I could tell. And it also has a tilt sensor uh, um, in, inside it, so you can tilt. But um, in ZBrush, it isn't uh, supported, as I could tell. Um, so this this uh, a few things about uh, the the Wacom tablet I bought. Um, so behind here, I have uh, the Wacom Desktop Center. Um, if we open up the the settings, um, actually, I have. Um, I don't have a setting specifically for ZBrush. I should have done that. I accidentally put it on on, on all other. Um, so um, for my function keys, I let's see. Hmm. Hmm, that's weird. I would have sworn. Okay, so what I uh, since my hand is resting pretty close with my thumb and yeah, this one, I actually use uh, I think I used this one 
uh, uh, or con um, configured this one. Actually, I'm, I'm going to do it because, um, um, yeah. Um, so where is it? Where is it? Seabridge. Um, so once you add it, you, it, it shows up here. So that it allows you to set custom keys uh, for various applications. So um, for this one, I want to uh, set this to the S key so I can just press S on my keyboard. Um, so that means when I I'll switch to my, my tablet and I'm in ZBrush and I want to change the size, I can just click that, that button. Uh, it's um, right where I have my hand, which is really, um, really handy um, in a lot of situations. So um, if you're only used to using a mouse, which I was, um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, to constantly move your, your whole hand that much. Uh, in the beginning, I, my arm, I found my arm was actually sleeping sometimes because I was... Um, putting too much uh, stress in the, uh, it's just uh, being too tense uh, but it, it's uh, it's a matter of just getting used to it and once you, you're used to it it's just a matter of keep doing it and eventually your body uh, adapts to the to you to that kind of uh, way of moving around um, Another good thing about the Intros Pro is that uh, since a lot of my keys down here uh, or my buttons uh, down here, I actually activate them using uh, just tapping them like that and um, grabbing them from, from down here. It's, it's actually, um, I could just as easy as, as uh, set them, I have them keyed up on my keyboard. So when I use my mouse only, uh, it can quickly switch in between uh, different tools down here. Um, but um, since I try not to use the keyboard, um, I actually put them down here and it, it, it works pretty well um, to have it here. So the thing about uh, the pressure sensitivity, uh, how that works, uh, if we set um, a fairly small, just a medium size um, brush and I uh, just draw a line, you can see towards the, the end here, it became a little bit thicker and that's because I pressed down harder so I'm not changing the brush size it's just doing that dependent on uh, how hard I press down uh, on the tablet and it does it within uh, a certain degree as you can see it's it's, uh, it's not like um, it's a whole lot, but it's still enough to have some some um, freedom of not having to constantly switch back and forth, uh, like so and up again if you want. It's it's really nice, I think. And also because it's it's completely just like painting on a on a piece of paper. It's um. It, you can really make some really nice uh, fine details with this. Uh, which I really enjoy after getting used to it. Um, so uh, it's a, it's definitely a must, I think, if you plan on working with um, 3D modeling um, a little bit more than just one single time or a few times. Um, so um, yeah, I decided to go with it and I'm really happy I did it. Uh, also, when I get to texture painting, uh, I use it again, uh, I'll be using it again, and uh, it also um, provided some uh, ease of uh, clicking instead of uh, yeah, using the mouse. So um, yeah, as I said, I can definitely recommend getting a tablet uh, for this kind of stuff here. Um, so um, about the configurations also, so um, the next button, um, uh, this one is I didn't touch it's alt and this is control and this is shift. I kept uh, them as as it is and um, This one uh, is I is set to undo and it allows me to to without having to reach for the keyboard I can Maybe make a mistake and just uh, click that button and it's within pretty uh, um, it's it's pretty uh, easy to reach out to, and uh, it's gonna allow me to well undo quickly if I need to. Um, 
So it's very handy to have uh, mapped there. Um, and then uh, precision mode I didn't do, but uh, do anything. I just let it be there and settings. I let it. Uh, so the top three ones I didn't uh, map for anything. Um, the touch ring. Um, I disabled one of them, but the thing is, when you press this middle one, um, it's going to switch in between uh, different settings. So what I have it for is uh, if I uh, now scroll on my um, uh, my wheel, you can see the intensity up here is uh, switching uh, just by sliding my hand uh, around on, on the, the pad. So if I press the middle button, it's going to switch to brush size. So that's going to allow me to switch up and down. But as I said, uh, most of the time I actually prefer to just use this one because it's, um, it's a very precise uh, way of doing it where this one is uh, jumping in increments of, I think it's two, uh, the way I set it up. And uh, if I press it again, uh, it's gonna uh, change to a focal shift, which is, um, well, it can be useful. Um, but the thing is, uh, since I would have to click, uh, because the way it works is you press the button and then it cycles between the, uh, the different, you can't really see it, it's on the other screen, I can't move it, uh, which kind of sucks. Um, uh, but I don't want to uh, push it and and see what did I change. Okay, this is the C intensity. I want to change the brush size. Oh yeah, that it, there it is. Um, so what I tend to do with this, even though I mapped them all three, um, most of the time I uh, I leave the focal shift um, at something uh, fixed, and I don't really touch it. Um, if I really need to touch it uh, or alter it, um, I can actually just um, that's uh, there are two buttons on on the pen itself. So the button key is set to right click. Uh, that can bring up this uh, uh, menu, and where I can quickly shift it or change it, or just change it up here. Um, and the reason why I chose this one is because the C, uh, the way um, I could also have moved them, but oh, yeah. Uh, the C intensity and draw size uh, are really close to the the undo uh, history. So if I want to click this one, I might accidentally click this one, and that's gonna undo all everything up, uh, down to this point. So I, I've done that this quite a few times. So um, even though I, yeah, I, I I know I can just re uh, move them, for example, down here or up at the top or somewhere else where it's not, uh, I'm not gonna accidentally click them by, uh, yeah. Um, so, um, let's see what else do we have. Um, if we move on to the, I, I don't use the touch that much. Uh, it has a touch sensitivity, so it works like a, uh, like kind of like a mouse pad. So um, the pen itself, it has right click and it has a left click and a right click and a double click mapped right now and i don't use the double click for anything um <clears throat> actually i think maybe i might want to set this to something else i haven't really decided i might want to use the middle click or the left click um but for zbrush i haven't really found a use for for that uh, top button um, <clears throat> so uh, that's the settings I work with in ZBrush, um, and as you can see, they have separate they have separate um, uh, settings. So um, for the function keys, you can see I have ZBrush, but for the grip pen, I don't have a ZBrush there. So in case I <clears throat> need to to change this, uh, especially for uh, specifically for ZBrush, I would have to go in and add ZBrush here, and uh, for example, set this to middle click and that would uh, allow me to uh, use the middle click. I don't remember if it has any effect anywhere. Um, well, no, currently it doesn't. So that's totally fine. Um, so uh, anyway, um, this is uh, the way I set it up. And if you're wondering how I set up the uh, it's so that it can change the focal shift and and uh, when I use the the wheel, uh, you can go under C plugin, 
and under MISC utilities, uh, you can see it has brush up and brush down in increments of four, and has focal uh, up and down increments of and so on and intensity. And if you don't have these two down here, uh, you will find them. Um, I think it was on uh, the Pixel Logic website somewhere at the bottom. Um, this I think it was this one I downloaded. I'm actually one hundred percent sure, but this one is uh, specifically set up. Um, um, uh, it's going to be uh, doing exactly that, uh, and then in the um, in the functions here, uh, the way you set it up is to go to um, keystroke, and I've just mapped this to my left and my right key actually uh, on my keyboard. Uh, whoops. Uh, so whenever my, I press my left key, I uh, I want to uh, turn down um, intensity. Um, two increments and um, inside the C plugin uh, in order to set that up you just uh, hold down shift and control and then left click and then it says oops uh, you need to keep holding it uh, it says press any key combination to assign custom hotkey or press uh, escape so you want to make sure you don't move the mouse outside the window, otherwise it's going to uh, cancel. And then you can press um, the left key. And then it says it's the same already assigned and blah, 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 uh, which is uh, perfectly fine because I already set it up. <clears throat> but that's the way you, you map them up. Um, and then don't forget to save your preferences. Um, I think it's hotkeys store. I'm going to save. And um, so that also allows me to use my keyboard to change these focal shift uh, if I wanted to. But yeah, usually I, as mentioned, I use these ones if I really need to change them. <clears throat> um, I don't think I did anything else uh, regarding the tablet. I'm pretty sure I saw some other settings uh, about tablet. Uh, tablet here. Yeah. There's um, size sensitivity and laser I, I haven't played around with these and I might uh, revisit them uh, if, um, if they see, see if they can uh, provide some useful things as well. Uh, but I guess um, that's going to be it for this video covering uh, how I um, how I set up my Wacom tablet. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned, this is really invaluable uh, when you start working uh, with this um, because it, it really allows you to speed things up and um, oops, um, just uh, quickly move around and don't have to click constantly. It's really a, a nice addition. And I, yeah. I really enjoy doing it. It's kind of meditative, uh, like real painting or drawing. So um, yeah, I can definitely recommend you uh, buy one. If you can't afford uh, the Intuos Pro, uh, you can always get uh, one of the cheaper ones. They, if you just need it for, for uh, brushing and you're okay with this, uh, with a smaller pen, uh, it's going to be perfectly fine. So. Um, Yes, um, I don't think I had any more uh, I wanted to mention in this video here. So I will be seeing you in the next where I will probably, yeah, I think I will talk a little bit about how we can configure ZBrush because uh, um, I spent some time looking into uh, how to work with the application uh, because um, yeah, it is pretty uh, pretty different uh, compared to other applications I've been working on. So uh, I really had to get used to the way it uh, it, it operates and uh, handles. So um, yeah, just uh, it's going to be a very short video because uh, there's a lot of guys out there that covered how to um, how this uh, monster works. <laughs> so um, yeah. Um, I'll be seeing you in the next video, so uh, stay tuned and bye-bye.